Hey everybody, this is Rob Vegas and I'm checking in from Melbourne, Australia and we're back with another awesome episode here on YouTube. Now, I've had a few people in the comments ask me why I haven't done a cooking video in a long time. Well, I just haven't, so there you go. Which brings me to my next thing. That's exactly what we're going to do today, a cooking video. So we're going to head on over to the old Rob Vegas Master Chef Kitchen, check out what's on the menu and get the job done and have a lot of fun. Let's roll. Okay, so here we are at the Rob Vegas Master Chef Kitchen. Just part of the Technology Center, isn't it? And we've got our little assistant here today to help us out. Now on the bench, of course, we're coming up to Easter time. Now we've got some beautiful salmon. We've got some whiting pieces in tempura butter. All the goodies to make a lovely salad. We've got some chips we're going to heat up. And all sorts of stuff. We've got some lemons and limes. Great fresh Aussie fruit. All the good stuff. But, yes, of course. That is for Good Friday. So that's tomorrow. So we're not having any of that today. Because we have gone on the menu. And on the menu, cheeseburger, microwavable cheeseburger. That sounds great, doesn't it? Let's check out what it says. Um, it's manufactured in Western Australia, so shout out to all our chums over there for that. Made in Australia from at least 77% Australian ingredients. Well, that's good to know. Caution, product will be very hot. Be careful to avoid steam burns, so remember that. Instructions are remove contents from carton, open bag, remove frozen product with tray, heat for two minutes, let it rest for two minutes and serve. So yeah, let's check it out. Um, it's got a big old, my goodness, an Encyclopedia Britannica of ingredients in it. Well, you'd think it'd just be bread, meat, and cheese, and tomato sauce. But, of course, it's got all your favorite processed stuff, emulsifiers, um, everything you can imagine under the sun in there. So, good times. Anyway, moving forward, it says nutritional information. That's what we like. Servings per package, one Serving size 161 grams. Oh, story checks out. That's what it says on the front of the box. And we've got some energy, protein, blah, 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 blah. You can probably read that off the box. And um, yeah, look out people. This product contains gluten, milk, soy, and sesame. It may contain peanuts and tree nuts due to shared equipment. So shout out to, as I said, our good friends over in Western Australia at Vesco Foods. So if you're keen, get that website on the screen and check them out. Anyway, let's open this bad boy up and see how yummy this cheeseburger looks. So that's it on the front of the box, of course. Heat and eat two minutes and it should look exactly like that so we will compare the pair and this is what you get so he's in a bag as promised it does come on a tray there a cardboard tray and um yeah let's open this sucker up and see what's inside man what do you think about all this is that right is this the kind of thing you'd want for breakfast Okay, um, there, I'll, um, I'll keep that in mind. Okay, so, as per the instructions on the box, oop, it wants us to open this bag and remove the product. Now, I'm going to have to use scissors for this, because, whoa. There we go, some exciting YouTube content there. We're gonna have to use scissors for this because 
we just do ooh, a bit of a pop when we open the bag initially. Alright, cameraman's knocked off early for Easter, so um, we'll just make do with what we got. And speaking of what we got, here we go, doesn't that look like a tasty treat? So you can see it is indeed, well, so you can see it is indeed a frozen cheeseburger. Uh, yeah, it's pretty solidly frozen together, so I'm not going to try pulling it apart just yet. But what we're going to do is send that on over to the microwave. And as per the instructions, uh, on high for two minutes. So let's roll. Okay. So there we go, the old Rob Vegas MasterChef microwave burger in said microwave. All right, two minutes on high. So let's see what happens in said two minutes. There we have it. Okay, let's open this microwave up and see how our cooking has gone. And it's certainly, it's certainly a thing. Now, as per the instructions, we're going to let that rest for two minutes. So, as all professional chefs, like say at barbecues and things like that, do, you let the meat rest once it's cooked. So. We're going to do just that and come back and check this bad boy out. See you soon. Okay, so while we're taking our two minutes out, let's also uh, compare the final finished product to the picture on the box. And, well... I'll leave that up to your um, uh, thoughts there in the comments or whatever. And, um, well, no, I hate, no, I'm pretty sure you don't want this. It's not for cats. It's probably not for humans, actually. Yes, meow, come on. Also, let's put these scissors away. We don't want anyone running around with them. Any thoughts, ma'am? Very good. All right. So in true MasterChef tradition, it's time to plate up and have a look at this. So we've got some of the finest silverware at the Rob Vegas Technology Center. So we'll get this bun. Seems a bit crusty. And let's um, discard the cooking tray. And what we'll do first up is just cut it open and see what's... Oh dear. See what this is made up of. And what you get for your $3. Oh, here we go. So that's... The inside of the burger, you can see we've got our bread, obviously, and the burger itself, and we've got cheese and some tomato sauce in there, so that's a real cross section of what you get. What we'll do next is let's take a bite of this and check it out. And um, yeah, the bread's a bit crusty on top, but hey, some people like it like. Oh, Mia, don't do that. <clears throat> okay, so where were we? We're going to take a bite. So, give me a minute. 
Okay, so here we are with this tasty morsel. Let's duck in without further ado and see what they got in store for us with on the menu cheeseburger. Well, that's probably not the best cheeseburger I've had. And just, oddly enough, I have had worse, but I mean, that costs that's $3 at the supermarket. And for that same, you know, $3, you could probably, if you really wanted a cheeseburger, you could go to like your local fast food place and grab something a bit better for three dollars or you know splash out at your local fish and chip shop and get like you know like a good old fish and chip shop hamburger the requirement for this or the um, like who has this uh, perhaps you're on like a night shift or something and you really you don't have any leftovers and you need something to just grab and go and take to work or something perhaps this is what this is intended for yeah it's a strange one but it is what it is and you know yeah like i said it's not the worst thing that i've ever eaten but um it's yeah, it fills a void, doesn't it? So, let's do one more bite. Let's wrap up. So there you have it. On the menu, cheeseburger. Microwave, heat and eat. And that's exactly what we've done today. We've used the cooking tray that was supplied. And of course, our exquisite Rob Vegas technology center plating methods and everything like that. And um, yeah, what can I say? It's a, yeah, if you can do definitely do a lot better for $3, but you know, you can definitely do a lot worse for a lot more money as well by the same token. So moving forward, we'll do a few more of these cooking videos because it's fun and who doesn't like cooking? Well, hopefully next time we can raise the bar a bit and cook something a bit better. Anyway, I hope everyone out there, if you've watched it this far, hit the old like, subscribe button and all of that. If you've liked the video and if you didn't like the video, Hey, thanks for hanging in there. That's really cool and good on you for taking one for the team. Anyway, everyone out there, have a happy Easter. I hope you eat lots of chocolate and enjoy the long weekend. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now. What do you think, Look man? out for messages from your ass. Oh, dear. Crystal Ball says like and subscribe and leave a comment. <laughs>